Well, good morning everyone. Thought I might come down to drive to the beach and do a bit of a um, video review of my um, lightweight uh, dry baking kit. So what I've got here, you can see that's a mini heat and smoke eater. I had to do some redesigning, um, cut down the wick size slightly and remove the big donut wick from here and by um, changing the height of the uh, fuel bottle uh, seems to have improved it quite a lot. Now here's my dry baking kit. Okay, this one's uh, the Amusa Pots. It's a 12 centimeter uh, aluminium, uh, but very, very sturdy. I'm quite impressed how sturdy this pot is. And that's the um, dry baking pot. You'll see inside here, I put an egg ring, okay, and then that sits inside there. Now, on the bottom of the dry baking pot, I use baking paper. So I'm just looking for some oil, and then what I do is I just spray some oil. Well, when I'm out hiking, obviously I don't have, have oil spray oil with me. I'll just have a little bottle. Okay, that should be enough just to aid and stop them from now yesterday I went up town and purchased and went to the corner shop and they had these uh, banana muffins on sale for a dollar eighty um, I divided the measured out divided the packs up and into four um, zippy lock bags which would give uh, quite a nice size uh, muffin um, certainly enough for one um, more than enough for one and probably enough for two as a complementary to your meal so the beauty with this packet is it doesn't require any eggs or so on um, all you do is add some water which is what we'll do now okay hopefully you can see there just move this up and so I'll just go grab some water. It's like spring has arrived early. My favourite time of the year, spring. Okay, it says on the packet mix to mix about 80 mils. So approximately 80 mils there. Okay. Alright, I'll see how this works if I mix it inside here. Okay, if you can see that. Now, let's grab a bit of a spoon, mix this up. I did add some uh, mixed berry sultanas in this mixture. Just like that. I think that's mixed up enough. we do now is just pour that in here that is now ready so what we'll do grab the pot we drop that down in there so there's a gap, air gap, all the way around that pot. Lid. Now the Amusa pots don't come with a lid. That one's been custom made, which is supplied by Smoke Eater 908. Now the um, the bottle you see here is a um, two ounce bottle, which is 60 mils, 30 mils in an ounce. Okay. So. There should be enough fuel in there to okay just got to give it a bit more time now I'm using a windscreen there's a bit of breeze blowing but all I find I've been work 
use and mate is just a bit of carbon felt. Works great. Weighs next to nothing. Okay, I think we've got something going here now, yes? Okay, that's lit. Goes around there. And now it sits on there. And that's it. What we do now is wait. See what time it is now. It is now 10.27. Let's just say 10.30. Okay, let's just check, make sure this flame is, yep, looking pretty good. You make sure you get this um, fuel bottle at the correct height. If it's too high, you'll tend to flood the stove and um, you just cause a big ball of flame and you'll overheat your, your pots and burn your um, uh, food that you're baking. Yesterday I baked uh, three three muffins, the cakes, uh, using this uh, this method, what you see here. And I was going through uh, one ounce, that's 30 mils of methylated spirits per half hour. So it's actually quite economical. Um, so I'm quite, quite happy about that. Um, so, in theory, I mean, most cakes and muffins will bake within uh, 30 minutes, within half an hour. So, this one here, I mean, you'll easily, easily um, bake your muffins and so on with, with, within that half hour. Uh, this one, because being a banana muffin, it's a bit moisture, it seems to take a little bit longer. On my test yesterday, it was taking almost 40 minutes for this one to bake, so... Obviously, I'm not going to film the whole 40 minutes of this. Um, I'll go for a bit of a walk around shortly and show you one of my favourite beaches along the Queensland coast here, which um, you can only access by four-wheel drive. Um, we locals call it Palm Beach. It's now part of the um, Barham, Barham Coast National Park. I don't know, they're changing names of this place so many times. It's it's a beautiful beach, uh, no rocks. Uh, it's well sheltered, well protected. It's more like a river because um, just across the water is the um, beautiful, magnificent uh, Fraser Island, the world's largest sand island. Okay, I might just check this. It sounds like the flame could be a little bit too high here. No, no, that's looking fine. Yep, that, that's perfect. I seem to have sorted out this um, system. Take you, have a look. Oh, sorry, just bear with me here. Okay, well this is this is Palm Beach. For you hammock hangers out there, campers. Um, there's plenty, plenty of trees. Uh, this beach goes for, I don't know, it's probably 20, I don't know, 20 k's long. Bean. I'll just check me watch. Okay. Just on about 11, 11 a.m. Yeah, that's coming along quite nicely. You see how that's um, cooking quite even. Hopefully you can see that, yep. Yeah, no, that's good. Actually, considering half an hour, I mean, that's this one took about 40 minutes at home, so I've got a slightly higher flame there than what I did have yesterday. It's probably getting a bit too high there now. So I might just um, raise that up a tad. Let's get a couple of twigs here. Okay. That should now 
Oh, sorry. What am I thinking? That's the opposite. It needs to be lower, not higher. Go down lower to reduce the fuel flow and make sure the, the fuel line is reasonably level. Don't want any kinks in that because that can restrict the flow. Okay. There we go. Bit of a cold breeze coming in from behind the camera. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a vast improvement on this cooking system. A pack of, I've got a, a pack of Feather XL stove, again, that's uh, bought from the States. Um, it's not too bad, but it doesn't seem to like our fuel for some reason. I don't know if it's our fuel or not. Um, anything in between uh, low setting on the simmer control and high uh, just splatters a lot and uh, popping sound and um, goes out. So I bought the Feather Fire stove and um, it's a vast improvement it doesn't appear to suffer from the same um, the same traits as what the um, pack of feather XL does and um, I'm quite impressed with that little stove um, so it's probably the one unless I can get this thing and run it a little bit better than what it is although in reality I mean it's good enough I suppose um, I mean, it's working uh, but the feather fire actually works quite well in the low setting. Uh, it just burns a lot of soot, that's all I notice. I mean, this one does as well. I mean, any, any of the pots that seems to work for me. Um, I've got this black, it's all black underneath the pot, but that doesn't bother me. That's easy enough to repair, and I'll just make it cozy for this. So, before I go and put it in the pot, it's just in the uh, pack, I'll just go in the cozy. I've got another, um, uh, baking kit at home where I got from a company um, I don't not exactly a company but um, uh, someone uh, by the name of uh, calls themselves batch stoves that's b-a-t-c-h-s-t-o-v-e-z and um, he um, custom makes on a lathe it's the aluminium and he actually makes the pots and he makes the pots that's um, similar to the Elmusa pot here and uh, it's a great set and he actually gets it sent away and gets them anodized and I like that so they're lightweight um, including the lead um, it's less than a hundred grams and it's the same size pot as the 12 centimeter Elmusa you see here but it doesn't have a handle as such as you can see with the Elmusa pot um, but what it does there, it, it's actually incorporated a bale handle into it and it's actually very successful, it, it, it's great but I like this um, Amusa because it's really sturdy, it's tough, I mean this thing you've got no problems just throwing in your pack, it's not going to get squashed or anything whereas the batch stoves, yeah I don't know, I think I feel more confident if, it was, if I had it inside something, I mean once I make up a bit of a cozy and stick it on top of the on me pot um me pack um it's going to be fine but it's just a matter of making some cozies so it's probably the one i'm going to use most likely but this one with the handle it's um yeah it's actually i'm quite surprised i'm quite impressed with these um amusa pots but the advantage with the other one i mean it's it's a 40 grams lighter i mean 40 grams is not a much not much that's no big deal but the thing is the bale handle it's so much easier to pick up and remove and so on whereas this one here even though it's got this fiberglass wicking I just find the fiberglass wicking to be really really hot I mean I don't know if it's my hands or not but um, that thing is just so hot to handle and it's not too bad here because there's a bit of a cool breeze coming through and it seems to be keeping this cool um, and it seems to be working okay, but yesterday I had to wear gloves <laughs> and I didn't even think of bringing the gloves today So just as well, I mean I could just use a bit of a rag anyway, so it's not a problem um, So let's have a look. It's been about five minutes since I checked this Yeah, that's coming along quite well. I mean it's just a tad more I think it's a beautiful day I mean the breeze is picking up a bit more here now. Just check this flame is still going. It seems to be yeah, good size flame there too. Now I've dropped that down a bit. It's quite, it's 
quite good so that should finish it off really nice yeah. with this kit I can easily boil water as well so it's versatile I can use it for dry baking steam baking uh, boiling water and so on uh, simmering as well if you've got rice you want to simmer and so on but I tend to take a lot of dehydrated I do my own dehydrated mills at home so I tend to mostly use boil water uh, but now I've incorporated, I've got a stove system where I can actually simmer so I might actually start bringing a little bit of rice with me and particularly on the shorter hikes and, and cook up a fresh uh, batch of meal. Um, I like cooking, I don't mind cooking, particularly when I'm out camping, when you get into camp. Um, gives you something to do while camp's set up, make the pot on, hang back on the hammock and sit back. Nice coffee, hot chocolate muffin cake you name it what better laying back in your in the old blackbird hammock <laughs> i can't wait i can't can't wait i haven't taken this dry baking system with me on an overnight hot uh, bushwalkers yet um big shout out to brucey high fi and uh medicine man medicine man uh bought the same butt stoves as i have and um He's getting some great success. So how are we going here? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's starting to brown up a bit on the sides too. Well, I should probably take that out now. I've got a skewer here. I'm just going to check to see how that is. I don't want to get too um, too hard or burnt on the sides. There was me one. Uh, I think just a, just a tad more. The cooking system, the kit as you see here, um, including the windscreen, everything complete, the stand, the whole lot. Um, if I remember right, I think it came out to 230 grams on this scale. Now, I don't have a calculator here or anything, so sorry guys, um, you guys in the States are going to have to convert that over to ounces. Um, I could do it, you might see it down in the bottom of the screen there. Um, but 230 grams for a cooking system where I can uh, boil, simmer, bake. I've now changed to an ultra lightweight high kit. Um, my current pack, base pack weight is uh, about 4.2, 4.3 kilos. I can stretch that down to 4 kilos. Uh, that's including this uh, cooking system that you see here. And a few other luxuries um, which I think is around about your eight eight and a half pounds thereabouts so I'm quite wrapped about that I bought a new um, new backpack from um, got some of gear uh, the Kumo and it's brilliant I've also got the uh, got some of gear um, Mariposa 2012 version but um, it's a bit big for me now I tend to only kind of half fill it up and then everything just kind of sits right down at the bottom and because it's a bit more bulkier it sits everything's way back further off your back whereas this Kumo now because I've got less gear and well not necessarily I'll say less gear I've upgraded a lot of the gear to lightweight stuff and so on like a new down jacket and so on um, and it doesn't take up as much volume and it's great because everything just keeps straight in the back and it's super lightweight um, yeah it's great I haven't I haven't used it yet I've just taken it on a bit of a short day hike and it, with um, with about six kilos in it uh, which is uh, three day I, I've weighed in about three day pack weight that's with um, a litre of water and and a couple of days of food all up the pack weight was six kilos I don't know what's that 12 13 pounds or whatever thereabouts oh, I'm not too good at conversion um, but somewhere around that that range and um, it felt good on the back naturally which it would um, so I'm getting that pack uh, ready for uh, upcoming uh, bushwalk just for about 30k south of here past some coloured sands I'm going to take my GoPro camera with me um, and film that for you guys so it's going to be a great walk okay I think I'm going to take that out it's well and truly cooked Okay, hopefully you can see that. I 
little skewer. Yeah, me. Oh, I'd love to be out if I could share this with you guys, but nope. I think that's good enough. Certainly looks like it. Okay, just take that off the. And you can see the flame there. I don't know if you can see that. For me, that's an ideal flame there. It's probably going to be a bit hard, as you know. Methylated spirits at daytime, very difficult to view. So I'll just blow that flame out. Okay, let's move this pot. Turn this upright. Now, when you turn these around, see it's got, I don't know if you can see there, it's got a gap in there where the air can escape, where air can get in. Okay, so you want to turn it, turn it that way so fuel don't leak out. Now, I'm saying that fuel still leaks out. It seems to get past the, um, that's one thing I'm just not too wrapped about this type of system. Fuel does get through that. Just bear with me, I'm just going to move some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. Just looking for the cap for the fuel. I've gone through a little bit more than what I normally would at home. Uh, probably an ounce and a quarter. Um... Because it's a bit cooler and it's windy, so that's pretty good. Now with these, um, I always like to keep them um, in the pan for a few minutes. Seems to release off the sides a bit better. Um, should be long enough. Now it's cool down enough. Yep. Just move. So there's the mini heat. Uh, the main heat in zone, I think it's about 22 grams, 23 grams or so on. For that one there. Okay. You see the bit of soot on the bottom of the pot? That's okay. That will cool off. That will clean. clean easily move that out the way now beauty with this windscreen makes a great great pot hand handle holder now beautiful never fails always releases perfectly oh I probably overdid a little bit but it's still see baking paper that nah, looks good okay so we turn that, well, turn that around. Mm-hmm. Ha <laughs> ha. That looks perfect. Okay. So let's just break this. It's still, still quite warm. Oh, wow, that's hot. Let's wait for the spectators to go past. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's go and try. Mmm. Yum, yum. I tell you what, this is really nice, this, um, this banana muffin. I'm really impressed with that. And the fact is, all you do is just add water. Okay. Got some campers coming by with a trailer people, a few people do camp down on this beach nowadays, it should be cooled down enough, so look at that, mmm, actually that cooked perfectly, just how I like it, oh timing, how'd that go, probably about the same at home, almost 40 minutes, 35 minutes I think, um, most of the cakes and muffins I know to bake at home are done in about 20-25 minutes. This one here seems to be one of the longer ones to take because I think it's got a lot of moisture. It's actually got banana pieces in it. It's great. It's 
So that's That's probably equivalent to about three or four muffins, standard size muffins there. Um, costing $1.80 for the pack. And that pack I can do four, four like this. The weight of the dry mix is around 100 grams. Um, once again, for those in the States, sorry. I'm not very good at converting grams to um, ounces, so not sure what it is. Without checking on my computer. But, um, it's 100 grams per pack weight. Dollar eighty. So what's that? 90, 45 cents. Australian. It's cost me 45 cents Australia. And just over an ounce of, um, fuel. Bargain. And I can cook it anyway. Mm-hmm. I can't wait for my next overnight bushwalk. Mm. It's gonna be a luxury. <laughs> oh well. Hopefully this camera's still running. Hope so. I hope after all that the battery hasn't run out. Let me better check. Are you guys still there? Yep, I can see a red light flashing. Excellent. Oh, that's yummy. I've eaten half of that already. Mmm. Must say, I don't think I could have done any better. All I'm missing here now is just the hammock. <laughs> Next time. My next trip report hopefully it'll be within the week and hopefully it'll be a beautiful day as we've got here today okay well no more am really blubbering my mouth off I think it's time to pack up and head off at home I've got a few things to do now like um, render this and put it on YouTube so you guys can review it but it's over now.